everyone, welcome to today's video blog and I'm glad you could make it today. Uh, we're going to be discussing a topic that's been sort of trending. If you've been watching our recent posts, we've been sort of outlining the principle of threes and uh, you know, like the three rules for success, the three basic principles of online marketing. And uh, today is going to be no exception, but it's going to be the last of our series and we've actually titled it the three income streams that your business must have. Now, you're going to notice that once I mention them that it's not that you must have them, but if you do not have them, if you have one or two of them, you really are selling yourself short, so you're losing out on a lot of potential income that you could have. The second thing I want you to notice is that even though our blog and our business particularly focuses on online, uh, this is something that just as easily can apply to offline business. So if you own a, you know, a store, physical store with physical products, uh, it's really no different. And I'll give you an example now. First, I'm going to list them off for you. And it's very simple. The three income streams uh, for business are going to be low ticket items, high ticket items, and residual, residual income. So low ticket services or products are generally going to be the uh, the front end the cheaper products the high ticket are the more expensive and the residual are the ones that are ongoing so i'll give you an example now before i got into into business or marketing or anything online i was actually a professional musician i still am actually and uh, i still do lessons you know for music and i've, I've been doing that for nine years now i guess one of the things i i, I didn't really observer I never paid close attention to is the way the um, the income streams are generated for for music school so if you walk into a, a music store or a guitar shop or or what have you what you'll notice is that some of the most commonly sold items are just you know a set of guitar strings or picks or um, music books things that are they're not going to cost you more than 20 bucks to be honest and that's what that's where the majority of the transactions are but they're not necessarily your only source of income and they're not even necessarily that the high the major source of income for those stores but it is the most frequent so those are the low ticket the high ticket ones would be the actual instruments the the amplifiers the speakers uh, guitars pianos whatever they um, they are obviously more expensive they could run anywhere from five hundred to two thousand dollars even more and they don't necessarily happen every, every single day but uh, so they're they're more spread out few and far between but the the amount of income that comes in is uh, is, is, is fairly significant so it is something that the business needs and finally the the residual income which means something that's ongoing is the the lesson so I mean you go to just about any music store they're gonna have teachers uh, s set up to instruct students and it's something that's set up on a weekly basis the students come in so every day of the week they have lessons going on in the back of the school and that that's their source of residual income because they can count on it just about you know every week or every month they know how much is coming in from lessons and that's also a significant component it's a different story starting to break down how much is it whether it's exactly a third from each one you don't you really don't know it varies from business to business but the point that we're trying to get across is that you absolutely should find a way to set up the three of them so because every business is different um, whether you have products or services you have to find a way to do this where you can um, generate at least those three means of income so feel free to read the blog there's a little bit more information more detail in regards to the three and the link as always is below thanks for checking out the video we'll see you next time